In the last lecture, we found real, imaginary, and conjugate operators are nonlinear operators. And till now, we have checked the linearity of seven operators integral, differential, even odd, real, imaginary, and conjugate. Out of these seven operators, only three operators are nonlinear, and rest four are linear. Now I will give you one complete list of nonlinear operators which are useful in this course. There are many nonlinear operators, but we will talk about only those operators which are useful in this course. So I will give you one complete list of nonlinear operators and you can directly solve the questions using the list. So whenever you have the system relationship in which the nonlinear operator is either operating on the input side or on the output side or on both input and output, the system is going to be non-linear. Now let's move to our list. You can see different families of non-linear operators on your screen and we will start with the first family which is the family of trigonometric functions. We already know what are trigonometric functions. The examples are sine, cos, ten, cot, etc. And to make you understand how these operators operate, I will take one example. In this example, output yt is equal to cot xt. So you can clearly see y t is the output, x t is the input, and this cot here is the operator. And as we already know, trigonometric operators are nonlinear operators. This means the nonlinear operator cot is operating on the input. Therefore, the system is nonlinear. In the same way, we will analyze our next family. The next family is the family of inverse trigonometric functions. The examples are sine inverse, cos inverse, tan inverse, etc. Let's take one example to understand how they operate. In this example, we have tan inverse inside the bracket xt minus 1. So you can see the system is performing the time shifting first. We have xt minus 1. This means there is time shifting by one unit towards the right and once we have the time shifted input the tan inverse operator is operating on the time shifted input so this is the input term and the nonlinear operator which is tan inverse is operating on the input term therefore the system is nonlinear now let's talk about the next family the next family is the family of logarithms for example, log base 10, log base e, etc. To make you understand how they operate, let's take one example. In this example, output is yt and log base 2 is operating on the output yt and it is equal to xt. So you can see the nonlinear operator which is log 2 is operating on the output of the system and therefore the system is non-linear because I already told you whenever any non-linear operator is operating either on input or on output or on both the system is going to be non-linear now let's talk about the next family the next family is the family of exponentials for example e raised to power something let's see one system property y t is equal to e raised to power xt here xt is the input and e raised to power xt means exponential operator is operating on the input therefore the system is nonlinear system because the exponential operator is a nonlinear operator now let's move to the next family which is the family of roots and powers i will directly take one or two examples to make you understand how they operate in the first example, yt is equal to let's say fourth root of the input signal xt. Therefore, the operator is the fourth root and this particular operator is a non-linear operator. So a non-linear operator is operating on the input. Therefore, the system is non-linear. Let's take another example. In this example, y t raised to power 4 is equal to x t. So you can see here the operator is the power and the power is a nonlinear operator. 
therefore the system is non-linear y is the output this 4 is the power operator which is non-linear so a non-linear operator is operating on the output therefore the system is non-linear now if you compare this with this the two relationships are same so you can clearly see whenever there is a non-linear operator either on input or on output the system is going to be non-linear now we will talk about some other non-linear operators the first one is the modulus operator and the example is yt is equal to mod xt the modulus operator which is a non-linear operator is operating on the input therefore the system is non-linear the next one is signum function for example yt is equal to signum xt here non-linear operator is operating on the input therefore the system is non-linear the third one is the sampling function for example sampling of yt is equal to xt the non-linear operator is operating on the output therefore the system is non-linear the fourth one the fourth one is sync operator for example yt is equal to sync xt so here a non-linear operator is operating on the input of the system therefore the system is non-linear now if you want to check the linearity of any of these operators you can definitely check it by checking the law of additivity and the law of homogeneity i have already given the examples using these operators just take the example and try to satisfy the law of additivity and the law of homogeneity either law of additivity or law of homogeneity will get violated and therefore the system will be non-linear and it is non-linear because of the operator you are using therefore we name these operators non-linear operators so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section in the next presentation we will talk about split systems